Hello, welcome to my Power BI lecture video. In this tutorial, we want to learn how to use the summarize, roll up, count, sum, average, max, and mean DAX function. Let's get started. Now, I have this data in my data view. So, this is actually what I actually want to you know, accomplish. Okay, you can see the account manager name and the count of sales all through to the worst sales. So, I'm actually going to do this in Excel first then go to power bi and do the same thing so this is my source data the same data right and of course i've applied name range you know in my data all right so i'm going to use i want to count the number of sales so i'm going to use the count ifs so my criteria range one is going to be account manager and this now you see this is already in an excel table or oh, that's why everything just fell down now let's do the total sales so i'm going to use the sum ifs and my summary is going to be my total my criteria range one account manager and this value control enter now let's quickly do the average sales i'm going to use the average oh, excuse me average ifs again my average range is total account manager and this control enter now we want to see the best sales so i'm going to use the max ifs function now the max if is only available to those who are using office 365 and uh, microsoft 2019 version so if you are using the older version you may not be able to use the max if and main ifs so i'm going to use the main ifs here yeah? again total and account manager and let's see this okay we've done this in excel now let's go to power bi and do the same thing so i'm going to come to the modeling tab and i'm going to create a new table so for my new table i'm going to name it you know sales by account manager sales by account manager so i'm going to use the summarize okay so for my summarize i need to provide the first argument which is my table and the name of my table is transaction underscore fact so i'm going to put in that comma so i'm going to use the roll up and roll up identified a subset of columns specified in the call to summarize function that should be used to calculate subtotals so i'm going to use the roll up and of course the first you know the only argument oh excuse me and I actually want to roll up my uh, account manager in you know, a column in my transaction table so i'm going to close that up and comma so the next argument actually i'm going to put in double quote cost of sales then close my double quote comma and i'm going to use the um <coughs> count sorry okay count now this ought to be now let me quickly make an adjustment to this it's not cost it is count of sales then close my double quotes comma so i'm going to use the count so for my count i actually want to count all the um total okay then i'm going to you know, put a comma and the next argument you know which is the group by column name two I'm going to use oh no battery so i'm going to use again in double quotes total sales close that comma and i'm going to use the sum aggregator on the total and uh, transaction account manager then close comma again double quotes average sales close comma and i'm going to use the average function all right and i'm going to use that on the um, total okay i made a mistake here let me quickly correct it just discover it so it has to be on total not account manager okay that's the right thing that's the right convention so i'm going to close that sum up then the next one comma i'm going to find the um, best sales so for that i'm going to use the comma max 
function okay and i'm going to use it on total transaction for total then close that all comma and the next one i'm going to use double quotes worst now it's going to be the name of the heading worst sales close my double quotes comma and i'm going to use the main function okay total then i'm going to close my main close my um, summarize okay i think let me be very sure that we are in order i think we are cool click enter aha now i'm going to just do one more thing i'm going to sort the data in ascending order can you see so we have 70 count of sales for Bella. okay let's quickly apply currency okay because of our time we actually want to limit the time for this video let's just do one so let me apply currency excuse me all right now we can apply the currency to order in columns all right can you see so let's just verify the result because we have on excel can we see we have 70 for 21,254 okay for 21,254 now let's see this one also let's just take this okay uh, uh let's see your material average is 553 your material 553 you can see we actually got the same thing which makes sense so let's just apply the currency formatting so that we can have all those extraneous decimals chopped out okay and of course the last thing we need to do is basically to create to indent our syntax but i'm going to leave that for now because of you know, the time oops okay so i'm sure we are on the same page thank you for watching my video bye for now